Hi everyone. I had an ID last night. I already started working on it and then I thought I should share you, uh, it with you. I'm always keeping a this kind of calendars the ones that uh, stand on uh, your table and i don't know maybe it's the hoarder in me or it just can't throw away anything and most of the time i was just keeping them or either using them as a palette because it's good uh, paper and yesterday i figured of to do something else with them and I started going all over the stash of my painty papers and all the jelly prints and I decided that I need to downsize and there are there were a lot of a uh, things like painty papers that I tried to do something didn't work and they just got in the stash and I can never find anything so why keep it i decided to go one by one and if i don't like it it's going to the trash if i liked it it went here on a calendar and what i've done is just without even uh, trying to overthink it just pick up, uh, out a paper and stick it down and i've done it just with a glue stick and i don't care if the pages are coordinated and that's just the start so that's what i started doing and the thing is most like this it's some try something that i've tried and smeared some paint but i don't even remember what i've used what kind of paints i've used another a uh, painty paper a uh, deli paper uh, with a jelly print another uh, daily paper with a jelly print and this is from my notebook of excess paint so I had a lot of uh, things to go over and use so here it is and I still got a few pages to go now this is only the start and I'm going to do this uh, pages and then move on my aim is uh, I have already gone over the bin of all the painty papers I had and after I'm finished gluing uh, this uh, three pages and covering this then I have another stash to go over and uh, with all kinds of things that I make to be focal points or embellishments and I'll show you and most of them you have seen me uh, make in other videos like the butterflies the quilt like uh, uh, embellishments all kinds of uh, things i've done in the past and i still have uh, leftovers and they just get stuck in here and almost never get used so that's the next thing so very easy uh, this is the page one painty paper again I don't even remember what I've used there I'm guessing it's a, a acrylic inks but I'm I'm really not sure so all I've done is just take a glue stick and very generously covered the whole page and of course it's in the end okay sticking it down and trimming it later first I'm just making sure That everything is stuck down like so flipping it over and trimming that's the whole thing nothing to it and now I have it here and I am not even sure what this calendar will be it can stand here on my desk 
and be uh, some kind of inspiration. I can uh, add some uh, quotes. I can do many things and haven't decided yet. But I'm really liking how this is, is turning to be. Now, this, I don't have anything to do with it. It's too pale. And other uh, papers I've used, I'm going to show you. I've already have. Yes, I have another stash. This is uh, the leftovers of what I've already uh, glued here. And I also have a... Uh, an idea what to do with this and I'm going to go and stick this either to uh, cards playing cards and again make some kind of uh, like ATCs and whatever is left after that it's going to the bin to the trash that's it so I'm keeping this and here and moving along to the next uh, page let's take another glue stick okay so here it is a jelly print and let's see I need to trim it a little bit I don't want this section Okay, so glue stick, now I all, I've got two uh, more that I could find of uh, uh, calendars and I figured that maybe I'm going to do something similar with painted papers only one of them will be coordinated I want, I'm thinking uh, of my hubby's birthday on November is turning 50 and I'm thinking each uh, page will have some saying or some sentiment I don't know haven't decided yet so that's another idea how to use this kind of calendars now it doesn't have to be the calendar a calendar that sits on your desk if you are saving all kinds of other calendars you can use them as a journal as a journal they are already bound go for it so once again flipping it over trimming the excess nothing to it large uh, the large piece is going to the stash that is going on cards these uh, little pieces are just going to the trash and just one more here another jelly print and let's see I don't know Okay, I'm going to trim again a little bit. Don't want the white here. No overthinking. I need to repeat it. Don't overthink it, just glue down, move on. <laughs> now again, there are pieces here that I can also, if I want to, uh, I can stencil, I can stamp, you can do whatever you want, it's just using what you have and, well, I'm just, I just want to uh, use this stuff, I don't want it in a bin. 
more and more I find that when I'm doing any project I'm just making new stuff and not going back and finding pieces in my stashes so they just keep growing Okay, so we've got this covered and you don't have to but I decided that I want to uh, cover this and uh, I've got here some logo that I don't want to show and I'm going to use this uh, daily paper I have and this is a reverse stenciling let's see if it will cover if not, I have others. Reverse stenciling is that you take the stencil, you spray it, and then you put on it the daily paper. So, I, ha I have here a missing, it will miss it here. So, let's take another one. I have tons of it. And that's the whole thing, to use what I have instead of leaving it in the stash. Okay, so once again, covering. What's up with the glue sticks? They are all finished. <laughs> Another one. Okay, covering everything with the glue stick. Now I'm not uh, putting here anything yet. I want this section first. I want to make sure that it's stuck nicely. You can also take some plastic card if you want and just go over. Okay, so now I have this uh, crease here. I'm going to put more of the glue stick again. You don't need to have a glue stick. You can use white uh, glue. I'm using it just because it's easier, less messy. And now I'm just with my finger pushing the daily paper into the crease, like so. And on the other side, I've already uh, put a paper, but as you can see, it didn't cover everything. So now I'm going to put this here. Let's trim it, don't need the whole thing. Just make sure I've got this. And here we go. Now I'm just, the excess here I can either trim or just glue inside and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some glue here on the excess and I'm just tucking it inside. Nothing elaborate about it. Just finishing the whole thing. Here we go. Okay. And 
sucking it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. Here is here we go. I hope you can see. <laughs> Let's here we go. Basically it's like this or if you want it to start here, it doesn't matter. It can go either way and now you get to work either work on your pages or leave them be. I like this page as is. I can uh, decide to add some uh, saying here. And I am planning on inking around the edges or something like that just to make the whole uh, pages uh, similar in some way so this is it and let's just do some let's see um, well let's pick this one I really like this one so I'm going into this stash and not overthinking let's take something from this i can probably find something to work in terms of colors and of course decide if you want them like this or if you want the page like this if it's going if it really is going to stand on a desk then decide uh, the the directionality that you want i'm thinking oh yeah i'm doing this one i'm going in this direction i'm putting this bird here You can even uh, decide on one theme for the whole thing. It's really up to you. Like this. And let's give a branch to the birdie. Yes, let's see. Mm, not sure. Not really sure. Something like that. And again I can stamp I can add some saying I can do many things it's really a, there is no a, rules to it just using what you have and having fun with it so that's my ID and as I said leftovers all the stash of leftovers just so you will see what I was talking about Let's see, where are my cards? Playing cards. Where did I put them? Of course I won't find them now. Okay, I didn't find my playing cards, but I have this kind of cards <laughs> uh, on like craft, uh, craft paper, whatever. And the only thing I was going to do, and it really doesn't matter what you are, what you have, use what you have, just putting again, just putting glue. Sticking it. Let's see. Like this. Trimming the excess, 
again it's the same thing use it if you find yourself like I do not going into your stash and just making new things each time then you better go over your stash <laughs> no matter what it is I can decide also to do the back and uh, glue another painting paper in the back here we go so just going to go all over and make this kind of things and then maybe punch a hole and, or put it in some kind of an, like an album with pockets I don't know we'll see but finally I'm using what I have so that was my ID for today hope you'll uh, do something uh, like that and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now